the complement system. Complement system consists of 20 complement proteins and their breakdown products in the plasma numbered from C1 to C9. Complement is a heat labile and destroyed by heating serum at 56 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. The most common complement deficiency is C2 and this complement proteins are activated by three pathways. The first one is a classical pathway which is activated by antigen antibody complex that is fixation of C1 of IgG or IgM that has combined with the antigen in the presence of calcium and magnesium ions and also activated by DNA, C-reactive protein, trypsin and retrovirus. So let us talk about steps of the classical pathway of the complement system. Here the activated C1 in the classical pathway by antigen antibody complex acts on C4 which splits into C4A as well as C4B. So here C14B acts on C2 which splits C2 to form C2A and C2B. Now C14B2A is called as C3 convertase which acts on C3 which splits into C3A as well as C3B. So here C14B2A3B is called as C5 convertase which acts on C5 where C5 is further converted into C5A and 5B and C5 to C9 is nothing but called as membrane attack complex leading to cytolysis. At the end all the complement levels are decreased after the complete activation of the complement pathway. And next is the lectin. By microbial surface triggered molecules in the absence of the antibody where the lectin pathway gets activated. An alternative pathway is activated by microbes or tumor cells which is also called as propyridin system. So this pathway is activated by bacterial endotoxin, IgA, IgD, cobra venom and nephritic factor. So the C3 convertase in this pathway is C3B, capital B and small b. So propyridin is the one which stabilizes this particular enzyme. C1, 2, and 4 are not involved so their levels remains normal at the end of this particular pathway that is in the classical pathway remember that all the components are consumed that is from C1 to C9 but whereas in the alternate pathway all components are consumed except C1, C2 as well as C4 because C1, C2 as well as C4 are the parts of the classical pathway but not the alternative pathway. There is a reason C1, C2, C4 levels by the end of the alternative pathway remains absolutely normal in the serum. Now what is the terminal pathway? The terminal pathway involves C5 complement system. It is common for three pathways that is lectin or classical or alternative pathways. It leads to the formation of the final membrane attack complex causing lysis. And remember that IgM is the most effective antibody to fix complements and critical step in a complement system remember that it is the activation of C3 and here you can see all these three pathways to form the membrane attack complex which is responsible for the lysis. Now let us talk about the deficiency of complement component and the associated disease. C1 inhibitor deficiency responsible for the development of hereditary angioneurotic edema and the deficiency of C1Q, C1RS, C2 and C4 responsible for the development of systemic lupus erythematous and immune complex diseases examples like collagen vascular diseases more commonly and the deficiency of the complement C3B causes recurrent pyogenic infections. And the deficiency of the membrane attack complex that is C5 to C9 can cause bacterial infection especially bicapsulated organisms 
with nosuria and taxoplasmosis. And let us talk about the complement synthesis. C1 synthesis takes place in the intestine, whereas C2 as well as C4 synthesis takes place in the macrophage, C5 as well as C8 in the spleen, and C3, C6 as well as C9 in the liver, where all these complement proteins are synthesized in the respective tissues. Now, what complement proteins are called as anaphylatoxins? The anaphylatoxins are C3A, C5A, and C4A. All these called as anaphylatoxins, and the best way to remember is A stands for anaphylatoxin. So, anaphylatoxins releases histamine from the mast cells, causes vasodilation, and increases vascular permeability. So, remember that these anaphylatoxins increase vascular permeability and the activation of the bacterial lysis is mainly done by the membrane attack complex that is complement 5 to 9. There is a reason its deficiency leads to recurrent infections especially by capsulated organisms such as pneumococcus and nevzeria and the most common complement deficiency as I already mentioned and it is C2. So, now what is C5A? We already discussed about the involvement of C5A in the chemotaxis in acute inflammatory process. So, remember that C5A is responsible for chemotaxis and it activates lipoxygenase pathway and the deficiency of CD59, CD55 can cause paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria and the test for the complement is CH50 and here there are like other complement factors like complement factors H, I and CD46 deficiency is associated with hemolytic uremic syndrome and it is one of the most common MCQs which can be asked in exams. SLE and other collagen vascular diseases can also occur due to the early complement deficiency where the early complement proteins are C1, C2 as well as C4. And recurrent pyogenic infections is mainly due to the deficiency of the complement C3B where the C3B promotes phagocytosis. And complement playing role in arachidonic acid metabolism is complement C5A. So, by this we completed the complement system as well as all the important MCQs which are asked from the complement pathway.